Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, um, those of you that might be starting school, um, either now or pretty soon, I always, when I introduce the Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit to my students, I always give them a chance for the Lego Mindstorms EV3 golf ball challenge. It gives them a way to kind of introduce the kit to them and how to build. If you want to see that, stay with me. So when I um, introduce the kit to the students, I tell them automatically that they're going to be working with a partner, two people um, per kit. And I always let them explore the kit early on in the year. And we go over the rules and procedures. But when I actually give the students their kit, I, on that first day they see the kit, I tell them don't have any expectations but to just explore the kit, ask me anything you want, you know, you know, what does this thing do? What does this thing with the Wally eyes do? And then on the second day, that's when we hit the Lego Tower Challenge. Now let me go ahead, I've done this video before, but what I wanna do is kinda lay out what we do, and then you know, you can modify this for whatever you can, even if you wanna do this at all. I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine. But it is super cool, super fun. You should see their faces, they light up like, oh, this is cool. So here are basically the ground rules. Uh, rule number one, they can only use what is in their kit, which means they can't go to my extra piece kit cabinets. They can't combine pieces with other teams. Only their kit, and they may not use sensors. Now here is their goal. Their goal is to create the tallest tower that can hold a golf ball, the weight of the golf ball at the top, for three seconds. So, you know, if they put the golf ball on the top, I just go 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. If it's still standing, they were successful. Now, the team that is going to be most successful is a team that gets the tallest tower that can still hold the golf ball. So, it's interesting to sit back and watch. Um, I, I use this as a team building activity so that they can see, hey, I, I picked the right partner. We're communicating. We're coming up with a plan. And then, hopefully you know, they can be successful in this tower. So another thing is it must be freestanding. They can't, you know, put it up against their kit. They can't hold their tower. It must stand all alone by itself. And then what I do is I give them 25 minutes to work on this tower. As soon as it hits zero, I say, stop, move away from your towers. And then what I'll do is I'll just walk around each tower. I'll have uh, the team member put the ball on so that I don't get accused of making it fall. And then if it stays up, I just use my yardstick and I'll measure it. And then I'll usually have a student be my writer and I'll say, okay, write down this number because it's my new record. And I'll go around the entire room until we get that winning tower. So it's just a fabulous activity to just introduce the kit to them so they can see how the pieces fit I've heard conversations where they're like, um, Mr. Gino, how do I get this from spinning? You know, they'll put like a black connector inside of a beam and realize that, you know, the whole thing is just rotating and spinning. So then they learn about, you know, the cross pieces where, you know, things will stay a little more sturdy. Um, they learn about the tank track. You guys know that if you take the tank track and, and, and turn it into a circle, it gives you about 10 inches of height, just, you know, with the way it is and then they learn about the tires they learn about you know what's a good base they learn that they can't you know just stick you know axles going straight up that it might not be stable enough so there's all um, types of physics that they learn and engineering through this activity so what I want to do is um, just end this video by showing you some pictures that I took a little bit of video and then I definitely want to show you the winning towers from each of my classes. So take a look at this.
Okay, you guys, so hopefully if you're looking for a school starting activity, you might give this a shot. This is uh, our fourth annual golf ball challenge. So it's just something that every year, um, it's just something I look forward to because I like to see them, you know, get their hands on the pieces and parts and, you know, see how it all fits together. And it's really cool because it's a competition. So give it a shot. Maybe let me know in the comment section if you do give this a shot. How did it go with your class? Um, definitely if there's something you included or took away that made it better, I'd love you know your ideas on it. And yeah, it's just super cool and amazing to, to see and watch your students go through this. Okay guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.